All right, this is one last midnight back with another episode of Astroneer 1.0. So, you're in Astroneer and you've got stuff. You've got so much stuff. Here, here, wait, wait, wait. Cartland tells it better than I do. Because that's the whole, that's the whole meaning of life, isn't it? Trying to find a place for your stuff. <laughs> that's all your house is. Your house is just a place for your stuff. And so what are you going to do with all of that stuff? Well, this video is going to talk about platform and storage. Some place to keep all of your stuff. I hope you enjoy it. All right, so Astroneer gives you a lot of variety in storing stuff, right? So the first thing you're going to need is platforms. So if you look, if you notice, I have all the platforms lined up here and I have them in order of printer type. So this is built by the small printer. It's uh, one of the, the printers that you can create off your backpack with a piece of compound. And the medium platform A is one of the was one of the storage platforms that you get right off the bat. This is something that can easily and quickly be printed with a piece of resin. And it's also convenient. These first two items can actually be put on your backpack. And so you can carry them around. So it's a nice little mechanism to be able to create platforms and move them from one location to another without having to take a, a much larger vehicle or with having to awkwardly carry them to move them around. Platform, medium platform A is automatically unlocked with you, unlocked for you. Also, large platform A is also automatically unlocked for you. And let's take a look at these options here. Now, Medium platform A just gives you a two connection point, which is great if you have, let's say, the small printer and or the medium printer. Right, so in this example, here's an example of the medium printer, right? So the medium, the starting medium printer is sitting right here, right? Now this isn't the starting platform that you get. I'll show you the starting platform that you get. Uh, that way you can understand what's going on here. But here's here is the medium platform A. Now this is okay, but the problem is there's no room for storage. It's nice to have this printer separated by itself, but there's really no room to have any other kind of additional thing. And you're going to have a ton of resources that you're going to have to manage. So maybe you're, you won't be using this. I don't know. I, I don't find much use for this small A, but it doesn't mean that you can't use it. Now here is the medium platform B. This will look familiar because this is the platform that you get in the very beginning of the game. This is your starting platform. They give this to you for free and they also give you the medium printer for free, right? So, oops, that's the small printer. They also give you the medium printer for free. And so this is usually what, what you start off with and this is how it looks and, and yeah, okay, no problem, right? Again, there's really not a lot of room for storage. You can't really attach other, anything other than a single power unit to this, whether it be solar or wind. Um, and it's okay to start off with, but maybe not for the long run. I tend to, to hook my small printer and my medium printer up together in the beginning and then just use it like that. The next stage up, this large platform, which is also free and unlocked for you, gives you that one additional slot so that if you had, let's say, some storage, which is also unlocked for you, right off the bat. You could put a little storage unit here and your printer and be able to pull resources from your storage unit into your printer without too much of a problem. I personally, the very first thing that I do is save up the bytes to get the large platform B. To me, the large platform B is one of the most useful platforms in the game. And it's typically the one that I use the absolute most. It has two two point attachments. So if I wanted to put storage off to the side, I could, and it lays down in this. And then uh, a four attach appointment for like a building. So this is where I typically wind up putting my, all of my base buildings on on these uh, large platform Bs. This is, this is pretty inexpensive. As a matter of fact, as you start going along in the game and you get the large printer, the large printer, printer is a four, slot like the research chamber and it's easy to have the medium printer the small printer and the large printer all on a single unit it comes in really really handy this is uh 500 bytes it's it's worth just saving up for 500 bytes to get that right away the next platform up is the large platform c Large platform C is a, a little bit strange. It has more space than a medium storage. So you get 10 units of storage on the side, on each sides of these, and it's great for holding a base piece. 
So if you have, let's say, a mm, printer, double printers, you could use these sides for storage. If you had, let's say, an atmosphere condenser, that's perfect. It's generating the atmosphere gases and storing them off to the side. This is a pretty handy one. I don't use this one um, that much because mainly I forget about it, to be honest with you. But it is it is very handy because it gives you those two additional extra storage spaces on each side. So you have four in total. Now, I wound up putting the next one in as a storage, uh, mainly as a platform, mainly because it's the landing pad platform. It's going to hold your shuttles right so i consider it to be a platform but let's go ahead and take a look at it when you first expand it it's relatively small you can see the secondary expansion though so it gets it turns actually into a pretty large platform to hold your shuttles we're going to expand it right here right but it's only used to hold on to your shut uh, to store your shuttles for landing um, it, it's nice because you can carry it around you can repackage it back up of course once you have it unpackaged you can't reattach it you need to uh, convert it back into box form so that you can carry it around with you but it is nice to have because it provides a circle on the planet for when you're when you're in orbit and you're trying to land somewhere okay so let's look at, let's move to the large platforms. The large platforms are huge. They are the size of the building pieces, meaning that they take that H4 connection, that four slot connection. It's very hard to walk around with them. You cannot carry them into your hand. And the best thing to do is to kind of, you know, attach it to a vehicle. They're very heavy. You can see them on my vehicle is kind of flipping over. They're very heavy and they're very big. But let's look at the extra large platform B. They print on the large printer and they take a long time to print. These are a uh, later game. I think the large platform B is, if I had to go stages from one to three, it's second tier. And the extra large platform A would be a third tier. Let's go ahead and look at this. This is probably the most useful platform. It has... 10 different two connection slots, which means it'll hold a ton of storage or batteries or solar power or wind power or any other combination of stuff that you want to put on here. This is a really handy, really useful platform. I like it because it's got a lot of stuff. Beforehand, used to, we used to carry it down uh, before um, release. We used to carry it down. Now, if it's expanded, you can't walk with it anymore. You have to do the, the run and and thing but you would carry this down into a cave you would fill it up with research and bring it up with you no you can no longer do that the only way that it is carryable well it's not really carryable anymore except in holding it in box form and walking very very slowly not really useful for like walking around the caves like i said you can't pick it up when it's unpacked the last platform we're going to look at is the extra large platform a Again, another large platform. It has two H slots in it. This is really nice. This this large platform A is really nice when you want to have, let's say, back-to-back -back, uh, building pieces on there. I mean, you could do anything with it. It's whatever combination you want to set up on it. You can have uh, these two research chambers uh, going back-to-back -back or facing, facing each other. So you can have two research. Very easy to feed these researches. You could then have power on this. You could you can do all kinds of things with this. Uh, again, it's it's another unit that you can't walk with when it's unpacked, but it, it gives you a different option for setting up your base, a different variety, and it's also got a ton of connectors on it. Whereas uh, most of these guys only have two or four connectors, it's got a connector everywhere. All right, let's talk about storage because having platforms is nothing without having somewhere to put your stuff, unless of course you're using the extra large platform C. So storage comes in four flavors. It comes in small, that's your backpack. It comes in medium, the medium storage. It comes in large, which is large storage, and it comes in extra large, all right? The small storage is great because, or the medium storage is great because that's another backpack item. It's something you can hold on your backpack and it's easy to carry around from one place to another. So if you need to put storage somewhere, it's perfect. Yeah, it's uh, pretty easy to make. We'll go through making these in a minute. But it's something that you're going to use a lot. This is probably the most used storage uh, in the game. I see them everywhere. I use them everywhere. 
it's very very handy the large storage which is that second tier item. You can walk with it in a box form in your hand, but walking with it unpacked is not that easy as well. Uh, this allows you to extend out. So if you had a four slot that you weren't quite using, let's, uh, let's say example this, I can, or your vehicle or your shuttle or whatever you wanted to do, you can then expand that four slot out into two or four, two slots to hold more storage, right? Typically, the items that you're carrying around are not necessarily that large. Uh, you are going to carry boxes from one place to another if you're moving your base location or setting up a base in another area. But typically, what you're going to wind up doing is holding, you're trying to hold more of these little, these medium storages if you're going resource gathering. The final last one is the extra large storage. This needs to be attached to a base piece. It needs to be attached to some sort of double it's a double if you could look underneath it right there it's a double h so it takes up this extra large platform a really to use it right so while it gives you i mean it just gives you an interesting variety of storage i haven't really found too much of a use for this you could use it as some sort of power generation to get 360 degree angles of for power I really, I, I mainly have been using it as like a giant light bulb, to be <laughs> to be honest with you. But it 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 is very cool, and it's a different option, right? It's something else that you could possibly use as storage. But again, it's gonna require you to have this extra large platform A. All right, now that we looked at all the storage, and we've looked at all the platforms, let's go back and look at the cost of these to build and when you would probably wind up using them. Okay, so here I am at my printers. Let's look at the small printer. The small printer is gonna give you that medium storage for two resin. Very easy early game. You're gonna find a lot of resin all over the place. If not, one of the first buildings you're gonna have is a soil centrifuge anyways, and that's gonna give you resin if you, if you need more resin. The other one is the platform A, which is one resin. If you remember, it was that little tiny one, and the platform B, which is two resin. You can actually see the ghost below. Here, let me just move slightly out of the way. So there is the platform B and the platform A, right? These two are very inexpensive to make and very early game. My suggestion is to wait and go right into, get that 500 bytes and go right into the large platform B. You can see I have them set up all over this base, but let's look at the other two platforms. It's really a matter of how much resin you want to spend. So large platform A, again, it's already unlocked for you. Two resin, easy peasy. Large platform B, Three resin, not that bad. It's just one more piece of resin to get yourself two extra slots. I mean, to me, that's worth it. The large platform C, this is where we're starting to talk about next tier. I have to leave Silva to be able to make this. I have to go somewhere where there's iron to make this, and it takes three iron to make this platform. Pretty expensive. Let's look at the storage really fast. So the large storage is three ceramic. Ceramic is everywhere on Silva. Pretty easy to, to generate, pretty easy to make. It's not that hard. All of these have to be unlocked though. You're gonna have to get the bites to unlock these items. Uh, even before I wind up unlocking any of these other items, I, I typically unlock, unlock the large platform B first and then just use this as my main base building piece and then a couple storages off to the side. Or power. Uh, it works very well to hold stuff. But let's look at the largies. So the large ones, you're going to need the large printer. They take a long time to craft. Let's go back and let's not look at the storage first. Let's go ahead and look at the platforms. Extra large platform A or iron. Takes a long time to build. The extra large platform B is two resin and two iron. Again, these are both later stage once you've uncovered iron, once you've gone off world and started collecting iron, then you could start making these. These are also pretty heavy bites uh, to open up. It's I, I believe they're in the thousands of bites to open up. Four or five, don't quote me on that. Uh, and let's look at the storages. So the extra large storage, two iron and two steel. Steel is a pain to make. It's iron and I think graphene is to make steel. And so that is really even later part of game. I would say that that's stage three. It's a huge number of bytes to unlock. You 
I think it's just mainly for variety. Again, I haven't found any useful purpose for this extra large platform or this extra large storage. All right. Well, let me know what you think. That was my video on storage and platforms. I hope you find it useful. If you haven't already, hit that like button. If you're not a subscriber, you well, we'd love to have you in the community. That, that's all there is to that. And uh, if you want to follow me on social media, all my links are in the description below. So I hope to see you again soon. Thanks a lot. Bye-bye. Thanks for watching. Please remember to hit that like button if you like the video and subscribe to our channel so you can stay on top of all of our latest video releases. I release content almost every day. We'll see you guys soon. Bye.